YouTube has this feature when people are browsing for videos, it'll autoplay a video, but without sound. And if you have subtitles at the beginning of the video, people can understand what you're saying and be more enticed to click the video and watch the whole thing. Also, if you're trying to make shorts, subtitles are a great thing as well because people don't always have the audio on on their phone. And there have been studies that have shown that subtitles do increase retention. It's just kind of human nature. Throw some text up on the screen and people will read it. And while TikTok and Instagram do have pretty decent tools where you can just do it yourself on there, I like doing it on my own in Adobe Premiere. It might be overkill for some people, but I like choosing my own fonts and just having a bit more control. It's also easier for me to edit on a computer because first off, I'm usually putting my videos together in Adobe Premiere. And it's just easier using a mouse and keyboard than a tiny screen and your thumbs. So let's jump into it. So here's a recent project that I just finished for one of my other YouTube channels. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to the window screen and you're gonna make sure that you're in captions and graphics. Once you have your whole video edited and ready to go, you're gonna go up here where it says text and you're gonna go to create captions from transcript. Now this is gonna do two things for me. First off, it's going to make a transcript of my whole video. It's going to use AI to go in and generate all of the text for everything that I say. And then number two, it's gonna create captions. So you're gonna have some settings here where you can decide how these captions are gonna show up by default, but then we're gonna go in and edit them just a little bit more to make them look better than just the default settings. So for transcript, you really don't have to do anything here at all. I'm just gonna show you English. No, don't separate speakers. If you have two different people speaking, you can differentiate them, but usually I just have one person talking. So I don't touch this section at all. I leave it alone, but I do go up into the caption preferences. So this is something that I played around with a lot. So to do it how I recommend, follow these guidelines. So where it says maximum length in characters, by default at 42, I bring this way down to like around 17. Minimum duration in seconds, that's not something that I touch. Gap between captions, I don't touch this as well. But right here where it says lines, I go to single line. I want to have just a few words on screen at a time and I want them to change continuously. So these are the right settings for that. And those are really the only two settings that I change and then I click transcribe and create captions. So as you see here, Adobe is transcribing everything. It should really only take a few minutes. So this video is only seven minutes long, so it should only take a couple of minutes, maybe even just a minute to transcribe the whole thing. But obviously, if you're doing a longer video, it's going to take a lot more time. So go grab a coffee, do some jumping jacks, and uh, let it do its thing. All right, and now you can see above the video, you have this new subtitle section. Now these are all of the different subtitles. And if I press play here, you can see that the captions change pretty quickly. There's only a few words each time until it changes to the next set. The new Alan Wake 2 was nominated for a game of the year this year. All right, so this is looking pretty good. There are some problems. We're gonna go and fix them. But first and foremost, let's make everything look nice. So what you're gonna wanna do is select all of these captions just like this. And then if you look, Premiere's gonna bring up the editing options for text. Now what I've done, I've went and downloaded a font that Mr. Beast uses because Mr. Beast is the best YouTuber. Um, I don't think this is exactly it, but this is like a very close font. It's called Obliex Pro. I'm pretty sure it's a free download, so if you guys want to go download Obliex Pro, I think these are great for captions. They're big, bold letters, very easy to read. You don't want to have any kind of cursive or any kind of small, thin lines. You want to have big, bold letters, and these work great. Now, remember to have all of the captions selected while you're doing this. It'll, it'll do all of them at once. So I usually bring my uh, font size up from 48 to something like... It depends on the video. I'll usually do like 65 is like a good one. Let's do, let's do 65. 65 is a good size. Sometimes I'll go to like 90. You can even go to 100. It just kind of depends. If you're doing like a short, like a vertical video, I usually stick to around 60 to 70. But um, 90 looks great too though. Depending on the background, I will add a stroke or not. I don't think I need a stroke for this one. It does have a default shadow that I think looks really nice. But if I were to add a stroke, depending on if the background kind of clashed with the white, I would just click stroke and then click the color and just add a black one and okay. 
I'm not a graphic designer, but I do know that the most readable font is white with black outlines. So that's what I stick to. And another thing that you can do, say you want to highlight one of these letters and change the color. It has been proven that that could increase retention, but it's really not super important. I've had videos go super viral, get 300,000 views where I didn't do any extra stuff like this, but you could just select a letter, go here to fill, and then make it red or something. And it just kind of will pop there. It's a fun way to add some of your branding colors, but it's absolutely not necessary. All right. The other thing that I want to address is that these captions are not perfect. So if you look over here, the new Alan Wake 2, that's what I say in this video. And Alan Wake 2 is, it's the number two. It's not Alan Wake also. So this is a problem here. So what I'm going to do is go in here, edit it right on screen take out all those commas and just put the number two here. Now there's a couple of things that I want to talk about. First off, those commas are really annoying. I find that you really just don't need them if you're doing captions. It's just, we're not writing an essay here. This isn't MLA format or APA or whatever. We don't need commas. This is something that took me a long time to figure out and it's so easy, but um, hopefully I'm going to save you guys some time here. So say you want to get rid of all of those commas or periods or di different punctuations like that, you're going to go into the search bar over here and you're going to type a comma. And then it's going to show you all of the different results. We have 72 commas in here and I don't want these commas. So we're going to do is click replace. And what you're going to do is just press the space bar once and then replace. And it's going to go through. Okay. Well, I, you got to replace, replace all. And it's going to go through and it's going to replace all of the commas with nothing with just a space. It's such a time saver. So we're going to do the same thing with a period. Period. We'll go right here. Replace with nothing. You see I have nothing selected. Replace all periods. And this is just great because like I said, this is just nobody talks with periods and comments. It's just usually not going to be necessary. Now remember we also had that spelling mistake with the word two and the number two. So one thing that I'm going to do because I know that I say that more in the video is just type in two and then you're going to be able to go through and it looks like I don't say it again but if you do say it again you can just go through and you can fix that stuff up it doesn't take too long and as you see this whole video has captions and we don't really need that maybe you want that but I don't think we need it so what I'm going to do is just kind of select 95% of them and just delete them because like I was saying you kind of only want you know, the first 10, 15 seconds of your video to have these, in my opinion, but um, that's, you know, personal choice here. So let's see how it looks. The new Alan Wake 2 was nominated for a Game of the Year this year, and while you don't have to play the first Alan Wake in order to enjoy the second Alan Wake, I already had purchased Alan Wake 1. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to keep it just like that. You know, you can undo if you want to bring those back. You can just hit Control Z, and then you can maybe, may, maybe play it, you know, until you want to stop the captions and then delete everything after that. Some people pop the text in. That's not something that I'm going to go over today. It's not something that I do. There are plugins that can help you do that really quick. There's a manual way to do it that's not very quick. In my opinion, uh, you know, it's probably worth it if it doesn't take you too much time, if you can find a good plugin to help you out with that. But like I've said, I've had videos that have gotten 300,000 views and they didn't have pop in text. They just had this style text right here where it just kind of quickly comes in and it's just big bold and looks good so i hope that this video helped you guys out thank you so much for watching please consider liking subscribing for more tips on making videos taking photos for you and your business and until next time i'll see you guys later